Forget the old space race. We are in a new cosmic contest. It's not just nations anymore. It's national agencies like India's ISRO battling private companies like SpaceX. Who's leading this charge to the stars? And what does India's next lunar leap mean for our future in space? Let's dive in. The original space race was simple. Today, it's a complex, global arena. We've got powerful national players like NASA, Europe's ESA, and China's rapidly advancing CNSA. They're pushing boundaries with mega missions and ambitious long-term goals. But the real disruptors are the private companies. Elon Musk's SpaceX has revolutionized launches with reusable rockets and the Starlink Internet constellation. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin pushes for space tourism and lunar landers. These companies inject massive capital and rapid innovation cycles. Why is this a race? Because it's more than just prestige. It's about resources on the moon, establishing human colonies, and securing humanity's multi-planetary future. The stakes are immense. Now let's talk about India's ISRO, the embodiment of ingenuity and efficiency. From humble beginnings, ISRO has become a global force, achieving complex missions on budgets that stun Western agencies. Their secret? Yugar, frugal, clever engineering. Remember Mangalyaan, their Mars mission? It cost less than a Hollywood movie. And then, the landmark moment, Chandrayaan-3. On August 23, 2023, India made history, becoming the fourth nation to soft land on the moon and the first ever to land near the lunar South Pole. That was a truly monumental achievement and a source of immense national pride. ISRO's ambitions don't stop there. Their Gaganyaan program will send Indian astronauts into orbit, and Shukrayaan-1 plans to explore Venus. ISRO's unique strength is reliability and delivering groundbreaking science at a fraction of the cost, setting a global benchmark. While ISRO leads with efficiency, the private sector, especially SpaceX, leads with disruption and scale. SpaceX revolutionized launches with reusable rockets, making space access drastically cheaper. And their Starlink constellation is rapidly deploying global internet. But the ultimate game-changer is Starship. This fully reusable super heavy lift system is designed to take hundreds of tons or dozens of humans to the moon and mars it's the key to a truly multi-planetary human future while it faces challenges its development pace is unprecedented blue origin with its new glenn rocket and lunar landers and other agile private companies are accelerating the pace the private sector's advantage lies in their immense capital their speed and willingness to push boundaries through rapid iteration so with chandrayaan 3's success what's next for india on the moon while Chandrayaan-4 specifics are emerging, expect something ambitious, perhaps a lunar sample return mission, bringing precious moon rocks back to Earth. This would be a massive leap, paving the way for complex missions and potentially human outposts. India's commitment solidifies its role as a key player in lunar exploration and inspires an entire generation. ISRO is not just competing, it's also collaborating globally, ensuring India remains a vital voice in humanity's shared journey to space. The new space race is more than a competition, it's a testament to human ambition. It's about our species' next giant leap into the cosmos. So what do you think? Who's winning this cosmic contest? And what are your biggest hopes for India's space future? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video exciting, hit that like button, share it, and subscribe for more science and technology deep dives. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.